This is the best 1 million coin team on FIFA 23. Reason number one, it's amazing on the pitch. Reason number two, you can upgrade it long term. And reason number three, it works in a variety of different formations, which is super useful when building a team. I really think this video will help you guys out. If it does, I'd super appreciate if you hit that like button. Let's try and hit 300. And I will help you improve at FIFA for free. All you have to do is press that subscribe button. One day, maybe I'll reach 100,000 subs as well. But I can only do it with your help. So starting off in goal, we do have Manuel Neuer. There's not too much of a difference between goalkeepers in this game, in my opinion. But Neuer is definitely one of the best. And the reason for that is he's six foot four. Seems to be like the taller, the better for goalkeepers. But also, he's got amazing kicking with a four-star weak foot. Which means when you're actually going to try and play the ball out of the back, he's not going to let you down. Which is something keepers like Courtois, for example may sometimes do so he's a reliable keeper for actually playing the ball out of defense so first up we do have Hakimi just his normal gold version and like I said earlier this team long term you are able to upgrade it so when you get the coins you can upgrade this Hakimi into his 87 version that is something I really love about this team you can actually work towards long term progression uh, which is something that just makes the game more fun as well so Hakimi's gold card we're throwing in there He's only about 5,000 coins, unreal value, and he's going to provide some really nice links, as you'll see. First centre-back of the video, we do have Lacroix, and he's just one of those guys, isn't he, where on FIFA, um, he just works very well. He's got great pace, great defending, he's six foot three with 88 jumping, so he's going to win every ball in the air. He's quick, he can defend. What more do you actually want in a centre-back? One of the stars of the thumbnail on this video, as you will have seen, we do have Gavardio, and I cannot believe this guy is this cheap. It is crazy, absolutely crazy. So he's six foot one, which isn't, you know, the tallest for a centre back. However, he has 89 jumping, his stamina is amazing, his physicals are elite, his defending's cracked, he's good on the ball, he can pass out the back, and he's rapid. There's so many things to love about this card. He is arguably the best value centre-back on the game. You need to try him. There is really, honestly, not many centre-backs in the whole game better than this guy. And he is just perfect for this 1 million coin team. We then have Alfonso Davis, another card which has long-term upgradable potential. When Once you get the coins, you can upgrade into his World Cup story card. And that is a really nice one. It's actually the one I use in my main team as well. But he's really quick. He's good on the ball. He can defend and his physicals are okay. Which on this game, that makes a recipe for a perfect fullback. He also links in... The Bundesliga centre-backs, just an all-round good option for this team. So, we do have the World Cup hero, Govu, and he is going to provide some essential links into the French League. He's also French himself, and the card is actually really nice. It's one of those where it feels better in-game than his stats actually suggest as well. So, he's four-star, four-star. He can play a variety of positions, as you can see. Striker, centre-forward, right, mid, cam. Um, and he's really nice, really nice. He's got good strength. He's quick. He's clinical. He can pass. And he's got the outside of the foot shot as well. So, if you fancy hitting a few Travella shots, he has got you covered. And he's pretty good value as well. A really good option for the team. So, another option coming in now that has upgradable potential. It is going to be Jude Bellingham. I use his highest rated card. It's a 90, I believe, and he is sensational. This one is good as well. A little bit on the slow side. Not too slow, though. Uh, you know, if you stick a shadow or a hunter on him, he's going to be absolutely fine. He's four star, four star, six foot one, with decent jumping, good physicals, just solid all round box to box midfielder. And he just feels really nice in game as well. He's just one of those players that seems to work on fever. Um, he's just one of those guys. So I recommend picking him up. This is his team of the week card. Excellent value. And his centre mid duo. We do have Gwen Doozy, One of the best value players in the game. And he's got the super long hair that makes everyone overpowered for some reason. So um, as you can see, he's got the four star skill moves. But the main thing about this card is he's French league. He's French. And his stats all round are just pretty insane. 95 stamina means you'll never have to sub him off. He's got 90 aggression. 
91 interceptions, 91 short pass. There's a lot of key stats in there that are absolutely essential and really well-rounded for a centre mid. So I recommend getting Gwendouzi in. He's vital for the chemistry, but he's also one of the better players in this team. This guy needs no introduction when it comes to real football or FIFA Ultimate Team. He, every year, is just one of the best players in the game. It is Neymar. One of the best value players in the game right now. He's dropped down to like 70k or something ridiculous. I, I do not know how he's that cheap. 5-star, five 5-star. Five star. And ever since lengthy patch came in and these players are more usable... Neymar is back to being one of the best players in the game. With a hunter, he is quick, he's clinical, 5-star, five 5-star, five star, best dribbler in the game, excellent passing as well. PSG, Brazil, you just have to get Neymar in. You have to, for the price, like coin for coin, there is no better. Get him in the team. We then have Nkunku, and he's still good, and he's another one that has upgrade potential. Neymar actually does as well, but with his upgrades, we're talking a lot of money. With Nkunku, we also are. Um, the upgrade would be to his World Cup Path to Glory version, which right now is like 2 million. But if you're looking in the long term, you know, it's doable. Um, <laughs> this one is good, though. He's quick. He's got 86 finishing. He's good on the ball. Five-star skill moves. It's like a wide cam, cam striker. Really nice card, providing some important links to Gavardio and the French players as well. And Kunku is a very, very solid option. And last but not least, this striker of the team, we do have Crespo. This is his World Cup version. Awesome value and a fun card to use as well. Currently, though, um, his in-game body type is that of Del Piero. I don't know what EA were thinking there, but literally Crespo in-game is Del Piero. So it's a little bit annoying, uh, but however, this card is really nice. Five-star weak for upgrade as well, uh, which came in clutch from EA. He's great in the air. He's quick when you put a hunter on him. Just absolutely clinical on both feet which is one of the most important things for a striker. He's still got the four-star skill moves as well. He's good on the ball. The one thing that lets this card down is his link-up play with that passing. However, he's just there to finish the chances, and he will not let you down in front of goal. So this is the team on paper, and as I was saying earlier, the beauty of this team is you can play it in a variety of formations. So let me give you an example. Already here, we've got a 4-4-2, right? Um, so that just works very well. What you can do is play like a 4-2-3-1, where you'd have Neymar as the cam, Gwendouzi and Bellingham as the CDMs, Govu as the ram, um, and then like Crespo as the striker. Even if you wanted to play like a 4-3-2-1, uh, what you could do is you can have Nkunku drop down into the midfield with Gwendouzi and Bellingham, and then have a front three of Govu, Crespo, and Neymar. So any formation you want to pick you're going to be able to do it in this team, which is a really nice feature that you don't tend to get in many squads. But guys, that is the team. I hope you enjoyed it. This team will get you results. Let me know if you do try it in the comments down below. I super appreciate all your support. I hope you have an amazing Christmas. We'll be back with a video tomorrow. Subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll catch you then, and peace.